Hi guys, welcome back to OC Avery. Today, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to breed European greenfinches and their mutations. So, what I'm going to be showing you is the diet of the greenfinches, the colour of the greenfinches I keep, um, the breeding setups, so for example, the cages, the flights, um, the, the nest positions, um, and what the birds actually prefer um, the nest material, which is preferred by my green finches, and then a couple of examples of the young birds that I've actually bred this year. Um, we'll take a look through those and have a look which birds are the better quality uh, for shows with colour and maybe the birds which would be not as good for shows, but um, yeah, they, they've got they've got characteristics um, that suit them to go and breed next year. So usually what you look for in a bird when you take to a show is a large bird, cobby, uh, very typey, you know, as much colour as you can. However, you usually tend to find that you get um, buff birds, which are um, non-intensive feather. And these birds are better as the females in the pairing um, because what they do is they add the size. Um, so obviously they produce a larger egg. They add the size and the type into the bird, um, whereas what you want from the male it really is the colour, but you're, you want a good sized male. So what you might want is a yellow intensive feathered um, cockbird with a buff large hen. Now, obviously if you've got two yellows that have got the size spot on. So the first example I'm going to show you is this. Um, this is a two foot breeding cage. This is a wire breeding cage. Um, now, a lot of people would say you shouldn't breed green finches in this or you'll never get your green finches to breed in such a cage like this. It's only two foot long. It's a wire breeding cage. So why would a native bird that is of considerable size breed in such a cage? Well, let me show you proof that they will. So there is the mother. She's been sat two weeks now. And there you are. We have four chicks in there that are now three days old. Um, and this literally, th this is such a simple setup. It's exactly what you would use to breed a canary. So you've got wire breeding cage, divider can go in here. Um, obviously you would put a runner through here, um, which I don't have in place at the moment. And this is just a plastic breeding box. Um, so this is nothing special. Um, of a setup and these are what I've got my normal greenfinch pair in um, or one of my normal greenfinch pairs now this pair isn't my best pair this isn't my top exhibition pair this pair is mainly used um, for helping people out who are just starting in the hobby um, and just getting some birds out um, as the spares which I might keep back for next year um, so in this pairing, what I have is a smaller cockbird who's yellow intensive feather. Um, he's very similar to the wild type. Um, very, very green, obviously. is pretty much as green as you're ever gonna get a green finch um, because you find some cockbirds are actually lacking that color. Uh, if I can get him to come around the side, he's there. So that's quite a, quite a, um, a deep green color in there. Um, so he's more of a, a wild type green finch, if you will. Um, he's not he's not of size really. He's just got the colour, um, and he's very fit. Um, you, you know to to fertilise the eggs. Um, the female here, um, she is an exhibition bird. She's a buff bird. Um, obviously, the um, the size in this bird is is what I've been trying to put into the pair. Um, so far, this is their first set of young this year. Um, the cockbird has bred one young, which I'll show you um, further on in the video. Um, and that bird hasn't got the uh, size to it. It's a cockbird, but it has got the colour, which is a desirable trait, which I'll be uh, looking to add back into my line. Okay, so now I've got the wide angle lens on this cage. So this cage here is three foot three foot and then the depth is 18 inches um this pair in here is a silver uh, buff green finch hen she is a la she is last year's bird and here we have a yellow um green finch cock who is normal color um this is not a pairing i planned 
um, to do this year. However, it just came about um, due to the fact that basically this hen here was paired to a Norwich cockbird and um, the Norwich sadly after three rounds hadn't fertilized any of the eggs whatsoever. Um, so I felt that it was time that she wasn't going to be wasted this breeding season. Uh, so I've put in a six year old 2014 uh, Greenfinch cock from a good exhibition line. Um, the idea is with this pair I want to be producing some um, half decent sized uh, silver green finches which I might take to the shows or might keep back from the shows uh, hidden away until I breed them with a much better quality larger line of green finches um, next year so as it comes to the 2021-2022 show season um, that is when I'll be displaying these um, silver green finches of uh, much better size and uh, much better type um, so there's no real faults with this pair other than we haven't got the absolute best of size in either of them uh, compared to my uh, top top of the line um, pair of green finches exhibition green finches I've got outside in the flight this is the pairing as for a nest site of this pair, and I've taken a wire external um, nest pan, um, surrounded it with Christmas tree, um, and then obviously hooked it onto the cage here and here. Um, obviously there's no access through here. I have to go around here. And there you are. So they, um, the hen is built up, but she hasn't actually laid yet. Um, she's already had three rounds of infertile eggs this year. Um, so this is th this pair have only been together four or five days now. Um, the hen is constantly going in and out of the uh, nest pan, uh, rebuilding the nest. So hopefully, uh, in within a few days, uh, this hen will have laid um, the first egg and will lay a full clutch. And I'm hoping that the eggs will be full and we'll get some decent sized uh, silver green finches ready for next year's breeding plans. So now we'll be taking a look at my uh, exhibition top line breeding pair of green finches. Um, I'll I'll zoom in here. So here you can see is a cockbird. Um, he's of considerable size, quite a decent uh, cobby bird. Um, he's a, I would say he's a buff bird to be honest. Um, which is not the best, but what he is, is he's adding the absolute size uh, to the birds, to his chicks. Um, and then up there, we have um, Mother Greenfinch. Um, she's a buff bird as well. Uh, normal Greenfinch, both of these are normal Greenfinches, and she is on five young birds. So this is the Mother Greenfinch. Uh, she's a buff bird, as I said before. Um, she's got good size to her. Um, she is just a normal green finch. So what we'll do now is take a look at her chicks. So these are just a day or two old. Tap on the nest, just get some movement in them. Um, they're obviously not easy birds to get videos of feedings, uh, anything like that. Um, but yeah, so here we are. So they are her five chicks. Uh, this is of a second clutch now it is now uh, june the 12th as i'm filming this so she's already had her first clutch um raised them they're now in their own cages um and we'll just sit out um and we'll stay in their own cages until they've molted through and then that's when we'll take a real good selection process of the absolute best birds what i'll be keeping to breed with and show and the birds which i'll move on which uh, don't have the characteristics that I'm looking for. So now I'll just be showing you through. Um, this is my actual spare pair of green finches I've got. Um, this is in case a hen dies or a cockbird dies and um, I, I'm, I'm in desperate need of uh, either of them. Um, so she's actually on four eggs at the moment. So this is just a normal hen. She's got no real um, show quality about her. Uh, she's not a large bird. Um, which we're looking for um, yeah, she's not got the great type either um, and she's a buff so she's basically what we don't look for in um, 
in uh, showing green finches. Um, however, obviously nothing wrong with her, just just not the uh, the quality of the bird that I'm looking for to show. Um, however, I must admit she's a last year's bird, and she's a fantastic mother. Um, I'll put a picture of the father on screen now. Um, so as you can see, he is a silver green finch cock. Uh, he's actually a yellow bird, so he's, an, a, he's a decent bird. However, he hasn't got the, the size to him, again, which I'm looking for. So this pairing was more just to produce the, the silvers and to get a few mutations out there into other small scale breeders who might not be looking to uh, exhibit their birds. Um, and just get a couple of colour mutations out there and open open up the world of green finches to people who might have not have experienced it before. Um, so I'll move her off the nest now. And there we are, four eggs right there. Um, these eggs are five days old. Just be, you know, they just begin to develop. We've got the blood ring, uh, veins, embryos forming, etc. And this is simply just again external wire nest pan christmas tree around it got a nest liner in there she's built her own nest on that and that's actually just onto the wire in here and uh, if you couldn't already tell with the noises this is a mixed avery so okay so now i'm showing you through my four pairs of green finches um, and the four different ways i've bred them um so as you can tell from that, you've just seen that uh, I've got a pair actually in a mixed aviary. So greenfinches, they aren't picky birds for cage size. Um, and actually they're the breeding facility as such. Obviously, as you can see behind me, two foot breeding cage right there. Down here, three foot breeding cage. Outside, uh, eight by two aviary for the larger pair, the exhibition pair. And then mixed aviary, which of course, um, yeah, that, that being eight by ten foot is quite a, a substantial amount of room for breeding green finches. Um, but it's even just the simple disturbances they could get from canaries, for example, uh, mules, hybrids, which are in there, cockatiels, for example, you know, parakeets, and they they'll happily nest there. So um, as it goes for that, they aren't picky birds as such for. Um, breeding facilities so that's always something i would tell you to bear in mind um however the bigger the room you can supply them with to breeding the bear the better your results are going to be um obviously with this sort of cage here you you need to make sure that your pair is compatible because what you haven't got here is a lot of room for the birds to get away from each other should there be an issue imagine if um for example a hen doesn't like the cockbird or the cockbird doesn't like the hen so they chase each other and then it ends up where you come in your shit and, and two or three days after actually introducing the birds and um you know they usually would end up where the hen is absolutely battered and she's got no no feathers around her head and she's just been mugged by the cockbird so that's why i would say um always make sure that your pairings are spot on and you've tried them in a larger cage first just together just to get them used to each other so that when you put them in a cage like this and you're breeding them um you're not going to have a cockbird suddenly decide to turn on his hen and um, it is if you just introduce them so now i'm going to take you through three of the young birds i've bred here from three different parents so we'll take you to the first one here this is a silver green finch this one is three to four weeks old now um you can tell obviously the coloring is a lot lighter closer to that of the hen i showed you earlier um, and the father i showed you as well so the um cock silver green finch father this one to a normal hen uh, and this was bred in the aviary um no issues oh, we've got a perch fell off fantastic um so yeah so there that is a silver green finch chick um at first i did think it was cinnamon um but it's not obviously um it's just as they develop the colors when they're first uh, in the nest so then we come down to this bird as you can tell just if you compare sizes right now there's quite a difference in size and this is because this bird here is from my exhibition line of uh, green finches 
Um, so you can already tell, and I, I, I've not judged any of these birds um, yet, really, as, as to what's better quality um, out, out of the siblings to this bit. By the way, that is a, a greenfinch singing in the background, um, with a little bit of canary in it, which is quite annoying. Um, so this bird, it's got quite a bit of weight to it on its chest, uh, which is exactly what we're looking for um, with the bird. Uh, we're looking for that size, that cobbiness, um, which is hopefully going to give a desired characteristic and make it a, a desirable bird, not only for people wanting to buy them from me, uh, but also at the shows. So this was from the exhibition pair uh, outside in the flight. Then we come down to this bird. This bird is from the cock bird that is, I've just showed you behind me, who's actually singing, is in there. Um, his, his younger in there. So actually, that bird right there is half siblings to those in that nest. Um, so as you can tell with this bird, this bird has already got the colour on it. Now, it is slightly older. So this is about five, six weeks. This is about four weeks. Um, this is seven weeks old. Um, Sadly, its mother passed away just this morning and um, she had actually been bullied by the cockbird um, after no problems whatsoever, the cockbird decided to turn on her. Um, but as you, you can clearly see with this bird is the colour already starting to come on it at seven weeks old. We've got the wing bars and we've got the tail. Um, so I can tell you right now that this is definitely a cockbird, um, but it's also a yellow cockbird because of the colour coming out at seven weeks old. Um, and then obviously you put that into a bit of time and uh, this bird's gonna have molted out and hopefully should make a really good bird. Um, so I'm hoping with this one, this will be a bird that I won't be taking to the shows because of the size, it lacks size, especially when you compare it to here, you can just tell already uh, the size isn't there for what I'm needing for a show and in order to, com to compete with a lot of other people. Uh, but what we have is a colour. So this bird might be an ideal one to pair up next year with a bird such as that to give it the colour um, to the young ones. Um, sadly, as you might have already noticed, yep, there we are. The left foot of this bird has got a slipped claw. That is basically when the thumb comes in front of the uh, toes rather than behind. So it's actually more gripping the perch with a flat foot rather than uh, actually holding the perch so there you are they are three of the green finches i've bred this year and um, as it is june um we've got three birds from this nest so this is one and there's two more um this is off one and this is off one uh, so we've just, uh, in total we have five young green finches currently right now um, that have actually fledged and are on the sticks and we have nine which are a few days old there we're going to move on to the diet of the green finches um so what i usually supply is uh, a mix of seeds so here we have more of a parakeet seed um they, they aren't that fussed on the uh the sunflower seeds here but they like the millet they like the corn in there uh, yeah, there's quite a, a nice mix of seeds there, which they're just happy to chew on. Um, then we move on to this. This is more of a, I would just say this is an overall British bird mix. Um, we've got a mix of linseed here, niger seed. Uh, we've got a couple of grass seeds in there. Um, there's, there's a couple of the seeds, I think it's hemp seed there as well. I'm, I'm not too knowledgeable on the actual uh, name of all the seeds, but I can tell a good mix from a bad mix. Um, and then we're going to rearing formula. So this is more just like a um, an egg food. Uh, this is not actually what I've made myself. This is this is a mix of standard egg food, egg food even, um, and uh, a more of a, an insective or bird mix so would be for your soft bills for such as a peking robin or a pied wagtail for example um so that is what i supply when rearing the chicks not only that i give a handful of mealworms occasionally just dried mealworms uh, they're, they're more than happy with those um i try to every morning or every other morning 
they get some form of uh, green food. So that could be um, sweet corn, for example, um, peas. These are all uncooked. These are just, uh, you know, more of a, in its raw state. You don't need to boil them or anything like that as long as they're, they're, they're not frozen. Um, obviously, you buy frozen ones and then you just defrost them. And once they're defrosted, give them to the birds. Um, and also spinach. So I, I would usually give this pair peas and sweet corn as well as this pair. However, for the pairs outside, you would give them um, peas and sweet corn maybe first thing in the morning. Only a handful, enough that they can eat and digest to give to the chicks and have some for themselves because peas can go sour in the sun and then that's when you can end up with ill birds and that is the last thing you want. So instead of that, I substitute in um, spinach and spinach is perfect. It doesn't go off in the sun as easily. It takes a few days and the birds tend to love it anyway. So it's usually gone within a few hours. So now just a few things I want to tell you about green finches um, that you, you'll just need to know if you're breeding them and if you decide to actually exhibit them at shows such as the National Exhibition at Stafford. Um, so the first thing is when you're breeding green finches, they're a British bird, they need to be closed wrong. So you would get a ring from maybe the BBC or the IOA, so that's British Bird Council or International Ornithological Association. Um, and they will send you rings if you obviously you have to buy them um, and you just say that you want well green finches take a size e ring um, it there's always a chart saying you've got the ring and then these are the species which uh, it, it covers so you would take a size e ring for a green finch um, there's usually no sort of mix on that so for example when i'm talking about mixes you would find a native bullfinch would take a d ring or a d plus whereas a siberian bullfinch would take an e and um, green finches it doesn't make a difference whether you've got a green finch that's tiny or you've got a green finch that's huge always an e ring because that leg the the actual diameter of your leg the leg of the green finch rarely you know will rarely differ from a small bird to a large bird um another thing when breeding green finches um you you should always make sure you keep an eye on your birds because i have i've seen a lot of bad things happen where people have paired up the green finches they're saying oh yeah everything's great no problems at all um and the cockbirds can get very territorial and very aggressive very quickly um so always keep an eye on those birds um obviously the main thing is is if you've got them in cages so for example two fort breeding cages um the hen can't escape the cock and that's usually when you'll end up with a disaster um so so that's that just for the breeding green finches side obviously you always put cover around your nests try and supply a nest felt inside um obviously as i showed you earlier um we've got chicks and the hen didn't build a nest she just laid five eggs in the bottom sat on them and now they're just in on a nest felt and they're absolutely fine um so when it comes to exhibiting green finches you take british bird show cage native show cage um I would I, I, it, it differs so maybe in the states it might be different but then if you're in ireland you would usually take a english pattern i believe english pattern show cage um and it or if you're in england it's a scottish pattern i don't know why it's that way it's just about the bar size uh, and the distance between one bar to the next bar um but there's also a slight difference in size. It's usually about half an inch. So that might be height with exact, you know, et cetera. Um, so yeah, it's a size three show cage you need for showing green finches. Um, obviously, if you intend on showing your green finches, you'll always find that you've got a show cage, which I'll show you now. The show cage has a hole on it and it usually scares a lot of people who've never found that sort of cage before. They think the bird's going to get out. Why Why have we got this? And the reason you've got that is that you have a uh, a drinker. So I will show you now. 
like this, this sort of style. This is not a British one. This uh, you usually have to have it the same. You have to have it the same color. So you could use that. I prefer the ones which have got the the wire hooks on the end. Just butt straight up, no issues. You hook that onto the outside of your cage, um, and the bird obviously sticks its head through and can drink out of there. Um, when you go into a show and you're preparing your birds, I'll do a complete show um, preparation video later on in the season, towards maybe October sort of time, maybe September, um, when when the shows are starting to kick off. Hopefully, we'll kick off anyway. Um, obviously, with the virus going around at the moment, we don't know if they will. I'm hoping I'll be able to go to the National Exhibition at Stafford. Um, I believe it's October 4th this year. So, if you're around and you're free on October 4th, Stafford County Showground National Exhibition, um, thousands of birds for sale and thousands of birds on show. I'll be there, I'll be showing a lot of birds. Uh, there'll be a lot of other guys showing British as well and uh, selling them, breeding them. You know, everything you need to know, you need to go to Stafford and that's where you're going to get your first birds. Um, and yeah, but what, what you would do when with show cages and this you only want to fill that up about halfway so that your bird um is at the show and it decides it wants a bath and then you've got a soggy green finch for example and then the judge is going to look at that and go well i'm not judging that it's wet through i can't tell the quality whether that's good or bad so you just usually you just get across across your sticker and that's it and the all your effort you've put into show into training that bird to maybe take it to the national exhibition for another show uh it's, it's down the drain because your birds decide to have a bath so you always fill it up just so that your bird can drink but it can't bath um so that's this video rounded up um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, that's on breeding green finches, obviously. Uh, I'm going to do several more videos on breeding mules, breeding more red poles, siskins, crossbills, uh, Siberian bullfinches, chaffinches. Um, you know, maybe maybe a few others. Um, and we'll, we'll just see where we go from there. Um, there obviously will be other videos, so it might be germinating seeds, preparing for the show, like I said earlier. Um, medication you're going to need for your birds if you're starting out if you if you already keep uh, native finches and you're just looking to get into green finches the medication is basically the same as everything so you would have baycocks um you always put vitamins in your water through malt etc nothing out of the ordinary um for anyone who keeps natives maybe a little different for canaries um i personally i've not tried to breed canaries like this just because I haven't I haven't got the interest as much in canaries uh, as I have as native finches uh, so yeah if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments if you've got any questions you might not want to leave them in the comments uh, we're on Instagram at OC Avery um, obviously more than welcome to drop us a DM and I'm more than happy to um, respond to that and help you with any issues you may have uh, we're also on Facebook, don't use it as much, but uh, hopefully should start doing soon. Um, don't use the, the my the uh, OC Avery Facebook page as much anyway, but we're there if you need us. Um, yeah, so please subscribe if you're new um, and you want to see more videos on breeding native finches and keeping them and uh, everything to do with that. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and if you didn't please leave a dislike and leave it leave in the comments why you didn't i always look to improve my videos um and give, give you guys exactly what you want out of a video for breeding native finches uh, so that's it for this video so thank you and see you in the next one